What is up, YouTube? Ben Azadi here. I'm going to break down in this video three ways to heal leaky gut. Whether you have autoimmune or you're coming off a round of antibiotics and your gut is not feeling good, I'm going to break down the ways to heal it with the right foods, supplements for the gut, the link between autoimmune disease and leaky gut, and so much more. So let's get right into this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ben Azadi. I'm a certified functional health practitioner best-selling author of three books. And here at Keto Camp HQ, we are on a mission to educate and inspire 1 billion people on planet Earth. I want to say hello to everybody who's joining right now on the live stream. Please put down in the comment section where in the world you're watching from. I'm going to be talking about leaky gut treatment and symptoms, food that, foods that cause leaky gut, supplements for the gut, the importance of the second brain, which is the gut, and so much more. So live streamers on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube right here, please put in the chat box where you're watching from. Which city, which state, which country? I see Austin, I see Utah, hey Jenny, hey Amanda, I see Montreal, hey Mark. All right, let me share my screen with you, and I have a great presentation. Every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Eastern time, I go live on all these live streams, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I see Toronto. Hey, Bobby, Caddy. Hey, Ninis. Good to see you all. Okay, so let me share my screen here on YouTube, but you'll still get the information here on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen here. Uh, if you do on YouTube, please type in screen. On YouTube, please type in screen, and I could verify that you see my screen on YouTube only. Uh, cool. All right, so let's talk about leaky gut. You might have heard the term leaky gut. You know, back 10 years ago, conventional doctors would have just said that was a whole bunch of woo-woo, a whole bunch of nonsense. Hey, Jameson, good to see you, brother. But nowadays, it's actually a real, a real thing. They're actually verifying it as a real thing. We knew that way back in the day. And here's how it works. Inside of your digestive system, you have something called your mucosal barrier. Think of your mucosal barrier as a barrier to keep your food intact. So if you're watching here on YouTube, you have a, a slide in front of you. It's not the best quality, but I'm going to explain it for it to make sense for you. Just like your skin protects your bloodstream, right? It is a physical barrier that if something splashes on your skin, you have this physical barrier protecting your skin. Well, your digestive system is the same way. You have this mucosal barrier that prevent, prevents food from entering the bloodstream. This is the way we were designed to be. So you have this mucosal barrier, which has follicles, it has these patches, it has submucosa, villi, these microvilli that help absorb nutrients in food, and it's an amazing process. Now, this is what happens when we have a leaky gut. All of a sudden, this wonderful process begins to dysfunction. So we have this mucosal barrier, this, this is also called your tight junction, and it's supposed to be held solid. You eat food, your body digests that food. It takes macronutrients and turns it into micronutrients. It is a great, great system. And this is a slide credit to Dr. Vincent Pedre, by the way, from the author of Happy, Happy Gut. A healthy gut works like a cheese cloth, allowing only nutrients to go through, but keeping larger food particles, particles and uh, pathogenic bacteria, yeast, and parasites out. But if you're looking at the slide here, if you have leaky gut, these tight junctions are now loosened. So these food particles and pathogens get through and activate an immune response, causing inflammation and sensitivities. Your body is attacking itself. That's what autoimmune means. It means your body is attacking itself. And it's a problem. If you see the slide here on YouTube, now these tight junctions opened up and you eat food, and now these food particles go undigested and they enter the bloodstream. It's like poop entering your bloodstream, by the way, and your body has to deal with it. In an acute situation, it's totally fine. You have something called secretory IgA. It'll shoot that down. This is a chemical defense mechanism by the body. But if you have chronically elevated levels of bacteria or, 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 or this is happening all the time, it's an issue because your body is going to start tagging all these foods like avocados and eggs and all these healthy keto foods as a problem, but it's not really the problem. It's that your body is getting confused now because all these part particles are entering the bloodstream. So leaky gut has been linked to just about every single autoimmune disease we have on this planet. 
So if you have autoimmune disease right now, which there's a hundred autoimmune diseases in that have been recognized and an additional 40 that are associated with autoimmune. And I'm gonna break down exactly what those are and link it to uh, leaky gut real quick. So here's the deal. What are the things that triggers leaky gut? Well, I'm gonna give you three things to do to heal your leaky gut forever, but stress is one of them because when you have chronically elevated levels of stress, you are going to have poor digestion. Hormones, heavy metals, food antigens, pesticides, and poisons are all triggers. But what happens here? When we have leaky gut, when the body is attacking itself, guess what happens? It triggers an autoimmune response, like I mentioned, and your body is going to target different areas. It could target the thyroid by accident and create Hashimoto's, thyroiditis, or Graves' disease. It could create leukemia, lupus. It could create rheumatoid arthritis. It could create Raynaud's disease, which by the way, I don't know if you knew this, but I personally have autoimmune. I have Raynaud's disease, and that's an autoimmune disease that was triggered from my leaky gut from the days that I was mercury poisoned and obese and had a very unhealthy lifestyle. Leaky gut is linked to multiple sclerosis, even autism, and so many more. There is a direct link because there is a communication between the brain and the gut. In fact, the gut is the second brain. 70 to 80% of your immune system is in the gut. A large majority of your lymph nodes, which help detoxificate, detoxificate the body, is in the gut. The gut is so freaking important. And I'm painting this picture here for you because I'm going to give you some solutions. First, I'm showing you the problem, the problem and I'm going to give you three solutions to healing your gut. Oh, I see you guys on YouTube. Good to see all the comments on here. Uh, we have Michelle, we have Mark, we have Kevin, we have Glenda, Amanda, Jerry, we have Liliana, we have Alan, uh, everybody. Jennifer, I see you all. Thank you so much for joining. So when, when it comes to autoimmune, I want you to think of autoimmune as this three-legged stool. If you're watching here on YouTube or if you're not on YouTube, just picture a three-legged three stool. This is a, a brilliant illustration from my coach and mentor, Dr. Daniel Pampa. We have one leg of the stool, uh, one leg of the stool that is your genes, your genetics. You have the other leg of the stool, the second leg, which is a stressor. So stress, hidden stressors. And then you have the third leg of the stool, which is your gut microbiome. If you have hidden stressors that go undiagnosed, or if you have hidden stressors that get turned on, guess what happens? It, it, it triggers your genetics to turn on a bad gene, to turn on an autoimmune uh, gene, to turn on cancer, because genes are like the lights you have in your room. You turn on genes, you turn off genes. And your gut is the same thing. If you have leaky gut, it triggers your bad genes to turn on. So we want to make sure we have all three legs of the stool intact. And one of the legs is leaky gut. And that's what this video is all about. Definitely check out Dr. Pompa's website, drpompa.com. And he has a brilliant article about the three-legged stool if you want to go a little bit deeper. And also follow him on YouTube, Dr. Pompa on YouTube. By the way, I just released episode 61 of the Keto Camp podcast with Dr. Pompa. We recorded a, an interview in Newport Beach, California last weekend, and I released that on the Keto Camp podcast this morning, episode 61, all about the cell membrane, fish oil. Go listen to that interview. It was amazing. All right, here are three steps to heal leaky gut, heal autoimmune, and feel much better. Good to see you, Patty. Patty's in the Keto Camp Academy. Number one, we want to remove the triggers. We want to remove whatever is interfering with the body from healing itself. It's essential to remove these inflammatory foods. And I have a list here on YouTube that you see in front of you, but I'm going to, I'm going to read it out loud so Instagram and Facebook gets that list. Number one, gluten and grains. Okay, I know a lot of you follow the keto diet because that's what I teach, but some of you don't. And some of you have your keto flex days, but we don't want to have gluten and grains because it's hybridized wheat. It's loaded with pesticides and herbicides. So we don't want that. And pasteurized dairy, I realized I spelled it wrong there, but pasteurized dairy. Pasteurized dairy, which is milk and cheese that has been heated at high temperatures, is not good because it's going to kill all the beneficial bacteria, all the enzymes, and then you eat it and all of a sudden it, it causes inflammation in your gut. So we don't want that. The next on the list is not going to be a fan favorite here, and that's going to be alcohol. Alcohol is one of the biggest causes of leaky gut, especially wine. Wine, the average California wine has 64 herbicides and pesticides in it. 
Okay, you're literally drinking a leaky gut cocktail when you're having these non-organic wines. The only exception to this rule is dry farm wines. If you're going to have alcohol, that's the only exception to this rule. Dry farm wines, they do it the right way. So shout out to them. And good to see you on here, Larry. I'm glad that you're watching. And Larry puts out some great content, Larry Diamond. So definitely give him a follow and check out his work. He posts a lot of great research. Non-organic coffee. I love my coffee. I just had a delicious cup of fatty coffee this morning with grass-fed butter and some, uh, actually grass-fed ghee and some MCT oil, but not all coffee is created equal. I don't know if you knew this, keto campers, but coffee is the number one sprayed crop in the entire world. It's right up there with soy and corn. Number one sprayed crop. Not only that, most coffee has mold and mycotoxins in the beans. So we want to make sure we're not going to Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts and drinking our morning coffee from there because it's creating leaky gut. And that's not going to help with what we're talking about here. We want to heal the gut. So I think coffee is great if you get it from the right source. So I personally drink Purity Coffee. And as if you've been listening to my podcast, I have an affiliate link with Purity Coffee. If you go to ketocampcoffee.com, and put in uh, Keto Camp at checkout, you'll get 10% off. But coffee has to be organic. It has to be high quality. It's going to make a big difference for your gut health. The next on the list is going to be soy and corn. Most soy and corn is GMO. GMO is loaded with pesticides and herbicides. So let's just put all non-organic foods in there because when you eat foods that are not organic, it literally is poking holes in your gut allowing food particles to go into the bloodstream, creating an autoimmune response, turning on bad genes. This is what happened to me. This is why I'm dealing with Raynaud's disease. And I've done a great job with reversing the symptoms from Raynaud's and I'm determined to get rid of it altogether. But it's so common. I would estimate, this is just an estimation, that 70 to 85% of Americans have some form of autoimmune. It might be even higher. The last on my list here to avoid is high lectin containing food. So if you followed any of the work from uh, Dr. Stephen Gundry or even uh, Dr. Paul Saladino, they talk a lot about these lectin containing foods, the plant paradox, right? Beans, eggplant, potatoes, peanuts, tomatoes, get them out of the diet, heal your gut first, and then maybe you could reintroduce it once in a while. But if you're eating a lot of beans, eggplants, peanuts, uh, tomatoes, et cetera, and you have gut issues, it's a good idea to avoid that. All right, so that was number one. I have a couple more tips for you here. I hope this has been, been beneficial for you. Let me go back real quick. If this, has been, if this has been beneficial so far on Instagram, please hit the heart button. Uh, Facebook, the thumbs up button. On YouTube, also hit the um, thumbs up button on YouTube. If you're watching it on YouTube on your phone, you have to click exit and then the thumbs up and then come back to the chat box. I want to give a shout out to Rob Smith, who's on YouTube. Rob is an awesome guy. He gave me a ride from uh, Los Angeles Airport to Newport Beach and back. So shout out to you, Rob. I appreciate you, brother. Uh, he's doing some cool things, learning about keto. He calls himself the keto detective. And thank you for the ride in Newport Beach, California last weekend. Uh, hard alcohol as well. I would avoid it. I would stick with dry farm wines if you're going to have it. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about replacing, I just gave you the foods to avoid. Now, what do you replace those foods with, right? Here's a list for you. Bone broth. The bone broth is fantastic because it contains collagen and, and the amino acids proline and glycine, which can help heal your damaged cell walls. A bone broth fast for three days can help heal, heal leaky gut and autoimmune disease. I teach a lot of my, the members of the Keto Camp Inner Circle, Keto Camp Academy, how to accomplish a bone broth fast because you got to do it the right way. And when it comes to bone broth, you got to make sure it's a high quality brand, not just and the one you see at your grocery store. I like Kettle and Fire. I use them all the time. I get mine on auto delivery. So if you want to check out Kettle and Fire, go to kettleandfire.com. If you put in Keto Camp at checkout, you'll get, uh, I believe it's 10 or 15% off of your Kettle and Fire shipment. But bone broth is a great way to heal the gut. Uh, Chris Wilson, what's up, brother? Great meeting you in uh, California. Good to see you on here. All right, next on the list is going to be cultured dairy, raw cultured dairy. So I said pasteurized dairy is not good, but raw dairy is totally fine. You can get it at your local farmer, uh, from your local farmer. It contains probiotics, prebiotics, short-chain fatty acids. It can help heal the gut. So I like pastured kefir yogurt, 
uh, butter, raw cheese. They're some of the best probiotic rich foods that you can find. And yeah, bone broth, if you make it homemade, that's even better. I don't make it homemade. Um, Liliana does. I don't make it homemade. So I, I tell you to go buy it. But if you can make it homemade, that's even better. Fermented vegetables are next on my list. So sauerkraut, kimchi, kvass, these are excellent sources that help balance the intestinal pH and also uh, helps to support the gut. I also love coconut products like MCT oil, right? I also like coconut oil. Just go low and slow with MCT oil, but it's great because it helps you digest fat and it helps you digest that fat and heal the gut. Coconut kefir is also loaded with probiotics that help support your digestive system. Next on my list is sprouted seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds. They have been sprouted and they're great sources of fiber that can help the support, uh, support the growth of beneficial bacteria in the gut. But if you have severe leaky gut, you may need to start getting them out of your, the fiber altogether and even consider something like the carnivore diet. I actually just interviewed Dr. Paul Saladino yesterday on the Keto Camp podcast. Um, he is the carnivore MD. He's writing a book that's coming out next year called the carnivore code that interview on the keto camp podcast will be available next month. And he makes a compelling argument on the carnivore diet. I like the carnivore diet short term for some people who have severe leaky gut. I can see it being beneficial, but you need to know what you're doing. So go check out Dr. Paul Saladino, the carnivore MD. And uh, if you're in the keto camp Academy, you can watch that live interview right now. It was posted in the Facebook group. Next on my list is going to be healthy fats. Eggs, avocados, ghee, coconut oil, these all promote the healing of the gut. It'll bring down inflammation and help the healing of the gut, okay? So I, I would add those to my list. So I have one more tip for you so far. If this has been beneficial, please hit the thumbs up button and make sure you let me know that you're getting some value from this video. And if you're not subscribed yet to the Keto Camp YouTube channel, we release five brand new videos on the Keto Camp YouTube channel every single day week, we are committed to educating and inspiring 1 billion people on planet Earth. I would also add to the list here before I get to the next thing is a, a, a an extended block fast. Because when you do a, an extended block fast, so three to five days, which I teach how to do that, your body's going to starve down bacteria, both good and bad. And then if you break the fast the right way, which I have a video on my YouTube channel, how to break a block fast with these right foods, you actually introduce the healthy bacteria and you get a, a proper balance of good bacteria versus bad bacteria because you don't want to just have all good bacteria. You want to have a pot, about a 70 to 30 ratio or 80 to 20 ratio of good versus bad. So doing an extended fast and breaking the fast the right way could really help heal the gut. I teach this in my Keto Camp Academy, and you can learn how to do it the proper way because just don't go out there and do a block fast without knowing what you're doing. All right, next on my list, there are specific supplements you can use to help heal the gut. And that's going to be digestive enzymes, especially ones that have ox bile, ox bile in it. I like um, Systemic Formulas Digest. If you go to ketocampsupplements.com and type in Systemic, uh, systemic Formulas Digest, I like that. I also like Atrantil. L-glutamine will also help with the gut. It also helps with sugar cravings. L-glutamine is critical for any program designed to heal leaky gut. Glutamine powder is an essential amino acid supplement that is anti-inflammatory and necessary for the growth and repair of your intestinal lining. L-glutamine benefits include, uh, including acting as a protector. It coats your cell walls and acts as a repellent to irritants. Okay. I also like licorice root. Licorice root is an adaptogenic herb that helps balance cortisol levels and helps improve acid production in the stomach. Licorice root supports the body's natural processes for maintaining the mucosal lining. Remember that mucosal barrier that I talked about earlier? And it helps the stomach and the duodenum. Shilajit is another one. It's a tar-like medical uh, medicinal herb used frequently in Ayurvedic medicine. It can protect the stomach from ulcers as well as reducing inflammation triggered by leaky gut. Nancy, good to see you on here. Good, great seeing Nancy in, in uh, Newport Beach. You're amazing. I love your attitude. Marshmallow root is another supplement, okay? This is a natural antioxidant, antihistamine property. It's great. Put it into the mix. And then Restore. I love Restore, which is called something else now. It's called, I think, Ion, I believe, but Restore by Zach Bush. Amazing supplement to have. It really helps seal the tight junctions. Have a little bit of some Restore before every meal. It really makes a big difference. I always have Restore. I use it both in the, through the nose 
and I drink it as well. So the restore is a great way to do it. Look, it's important to heal the gut. I know this is a lot of information. You might have to watch this over. It's going to be posted on my YouTube channel. If you want to watch the slides, if you're watching on Instagram and Facebook, uh, the Keto Camp YouTube channel, when you heal the gut, you begin to heal the body. You begin to turn off genes that have been turned on. Okay. So if you need help putting this all together, I could help you in the Keto Camp Academy and I'll tell, oh, let's real quick before I get, before I get to that. I get asked a lot. What about probiotics, Ben? Probiotics. I'm not a big fan of getting probiotics from supplements, only from it's naturally occurring in food because they are doing more harm than good. Here's the deal. Probiotics is a $48 billion industry with no concrete science backing up its benefits. Zero. Taking the same probiotic too long creates these monocultures in your gut. And we don't want that. We want a vast array of beneficial bacteria in the gut. So the only time I recommend probiotics is maybe after taking a round of antibiotics and you only take them high dose short term. Here is a list from Dr. Jockers of probiotics and prebiotics. We want to make sure we're getting our probiotics and prebiotics, not from supplementation, instead from foods like yogurt, which I mentioned, coconut kefir, aged cheese, pickles, kimchi, sauerkraut, miso. I also like chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, onions, leek, garlic, carrots, and dandelion. Add that to your mix of foods to heal your gut. Uh, I want to let you know that I get my meals delivered to me from Fresh Meal Plan. If you go to freshmealplan.com, I get my keto meals delivered every Monday. It's They don't use vegetable oils. They use olive oil. And if you're in the U.S., you can check them out over at freshmealplan.com. Use Ben AZ, so B-E-N-A-Z for 10% off. Try them out. Getting to the Keto Camp Academy, the founding member special is no more. We reached the capacity. However, I wanted to give you another sweet deal here. If you want to try the Keto Camp Academy out for seven days for free, head over to ketocampacademy.com. You'll see a trial option, and you could try that out for seven days for free. I actually have a coaching call in the academy this Saturday, so you could get in on that because your trial will be on during that time frame. If this video was beneficial to you, Please let a friend know about it. Share it uh, with your friends. Share it to your friends. Send it to your friends on Facebook and Instagram. Let everybody know. I want to thank you on Instagram, on uh, YouTube, excuse me, for, for joining in here. I'm going to watch. For those of you that didn't get to answer your questions on YouTube, copy and paste. Put it in the chat box or put it on the video down below. And I'll make sure I go in and I type and respond to your questions. I want to give you a shout out for those of you who have joined. Angela, Cecilia, we have Houston. Uh, raw cheese is fine, Rocky. I like raw cheese. We have Keto Lifestyle 50 Plus. You're a rock star. We have Peanuts in the house. Kevin, we have Jennifer, Jerry, Sarah, Gabriella. Oh my gosh, so many of you on here. I really appreciate you all. Hit that thumbs up button on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Instagram, I hope you got value from this. Facebook, I hope you have got value from this and I really appreciate you all sticking with this. Go listen to episode Keto, uh, episode 61 of the Keto Camp Podcast with Dr. Pampa. I just released it today. The Keto Camp Podcast is available on all podcast platforms worldwide. YouTube, thanks so much for your time and energy. Make sure you post your comments, your questions in the comment section. I'll go in and answer them.